Hello, John. You are up first. Hey, Bart. How's it going? Pretty good, John. So where are you playing out of here? So this one is in uh, MGM National Harbor, uh, 2-5 game, 1K cap. So MGM National Harbor in D.C., Yep. 2-5, 1K cap. Okay. I have uh, 1090 in my stack. Okay. The other two villains in this hand cover me by just a little bit, I think. My table image so far is pretty good. I think that's something you stress in CLP. So I you know, haven't shown any bluffs yet. I haven't really gotten out of line. So this hand, I kind of do a little bit, but we'll get there. All right. Well, let's see how out of line you get. <laughs> sure, sure. So um, uh, to start the action preflop, um, under the gun opens to 20. Uh, the low jack calls. Two more players in late position call. And I'm in the big blind with queen of spades, six of spades, and I complete. So here in the big blind with queen, six of spades, 20, 40, 60, 80, you're already in for five. So 85, so like 15 for 85. So you're getting five or six to one suited up and down. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with that. You're obviously, you can't get squeezed. So you call 15 more. And it looks like we go one, two, three, four, five ways, probably a hundred bucks. This is a drop game, right? Some some percentage up to a maximum, I think. Yeah, it's a five dollar rake, uh, up to five dollar rake. I think like ten percent. Ten percent up to five. Well, that's a lot better than ten percent up to ten. Yeah, they they have a jackpot too, which I think takes three off as well. But right. Well, I mean, the jackpot at least like some of it goes back. I mean, it's supposed to be. It depends on what the state you're in, but. In California, I think it was had 70% of it had to go back. So that's a little bit of variance, whether or not you hit part of the bad beat jackpot or not. But all right, so five ways, hero, queen, six of spades, and the big blind. Okay, what's the flop? All right, flop is uh, queen of diamonds, 10 of spades, eight of diamonds. Queen of diamonds, 10 of spades, eight of diamonds. And if I am correct, Mr. John, there was, I actually went to a school. That's so funny. I went to school with a guy named John Novak, who actually became a weatherman. You're not a weatherman, are you? No. no. Okay. Okay. At Syracuse. Yeah, he was a weather. I think he still is a weatherman, actually, in Los Angeles. It's freaky to see him turn on the TV. And then, like, he's on TV, like, 10 years later. Uh, <laughs> you are a CLP subscriber, I remember, and I think you had posted this hand in Discord, right? Right? Yeah. I know yeah. Discord. Yeah. So we'll talk about that in a second. So, Queen 10 8 with a couple diamonds. So you flop top pair, you have like a backdoor spade draw. One of the things that you run into in these situations when you call closing the action, getting a very, very good price is sometimes you actually have to fold top pair depending on texture and given the action. This one is interesting. I mean, I don't exactly remember what happened. So I assume that you start with a check. Yeah, yeah. I check five ways out of position. For sure. Okay. Um, so I check under the gun bets 55. The pre-flop raiser goes 55. Yeah. Okay. The next act in, I guess he's the low jack, calls. Mm -hmm. The late two late position players get out of the way, they fold. It's on you? And I call. So, 110, so 210 in the pot when it goes bet call, 55 for you to call. Yeah. Let me ask you this question. Let's say another guy called. Would you have folded? Like, say if the cutoff of the button called, would you have folded? It's close. I, I'm not sure. I mean, it, it's so draw heavy here. Uh, I mean, anybody could have a queen, I guess, right? Could have top pair had me out kicked. It, it's a close one. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting because people look at that spot and they're like, oh, well, I'm getting a better price. Like, if it went 55 call, call, like it's instead of 210, it's like 265, 55 for me to call. But I would maintain that it's worse for another person to come in. Uh, in terms of the overlay, like you have I, a lot of things have to have to happen for you to have the best hand and just the number of cards that just change everything. Even here with, a, with the guy C betting 55 and then the low jack calling, I mean, you got to be, I guess you're hoping that under the gun has like ace jack, ace king, and the low jack is calling next to act with some sort of diamond draw. I mean, that that's basically what you're hoping for right yeah yeah pretty much both of these guys had pretty tight ranges they, they didn't seem to get out of line much uh the end of the gun guy was like a 510 player who was like waiting for his table and then the next guy was pretty tight pre-flop so 
I mean, he did call preflop, but I, I, I think this is just a fold on the flop. I mean, I guess you've got, I mean, you got backdoor spade, so maybe you fold out for sure without the backdoor, like the clubs and the hearts, queen six. I don't know if you were planning on doing that, but even just bet and call on a board like this is just, you have to have so many good things happen. I might just fold out, but you called. Yeah, yeah, I called. So hero calls. Would you have folded like queen six of hearts? Yeah, probably. Without the back door, I think I would have folded queen six of hearts. So 265, under the gun, 55, low jack calls, hero over calls with queen six of spades on queen of diamonds, 10 of spades, eight of diamonds. Okay, what's the turn? Turn is the three of spades. So you pick up a flush draw. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And people in the live chat chiming in, especially with the low jack calling next to act. That's the other thing too. The low jack is calling next to act. It's a next to act call. It just it's not like it's the button who called on the flop, closing the action. That's why I lean towards fold on the flop. Okay, now you pick up a spade draw, okay? Yeah, uh, well, I guess on that, I, I kind of would have expected him, if he had a bigger hand to raise maybe on the flop, the, the next act guy. Yeah, but what if he has like queen jack or king queen though? You don't beat that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, it's like, I mean, sure. It's just, yeah, the overlays is not good. All right, so three of spades on the turn. So you pick up backdoor spades. Yep. So I check again. Mm -hmm. Now under the gun bets, 200. Wow. So UTG, 200. I mean, before you tell me what the low jack does, I mean, here's the thing. Like, that should almost always be a hand here, unless it is specifically like some massive, massive draw with diamonds. I don't know. I mean, I guess he could have, and well, the other concerning thing, if he had like ace jack of spades or ace king of spades, he's, you're getting over, you're getting over flush drawed. I don't know if ace jack like of hearts or s clubs continues to fire, which of course is the, uh, the double gutter on queen 10, eight, because the turn isn't a total brick, but he's just not, he should have a big draw or a made hand. What does the low jack do now? So the low jack calls. So low jack calls. So now the pot is 400, 465, 665, 200 for you to call, right? 200, yeah, 665, 200 for you to call. I mean, you do have top pair and the flush draw. So king high flush draws would have to be like king jack of spades ace king or ace jack of spades and that would probably be only represented oh i guess it could be represented by by either player i mean i think you have odds to call for sure um if you got here like this yeah i was kind of thinking the low jack might be draw heavy too right if he's just calling he's not raising off a made hand right i don't know i mean he could still have king queen king queen or, or queen jack i mean i just think that you're just calling here in essence with the backdoor spade draw with once in a great while, if a six comes or if a queen comes and you're somehow good or just once in a great while if everything breaks out and like everybody missed, you know, something like that. Now, some people in the live chat saying, rip it. I mean, four, six, sixty-five, here, eight, sixty-five. I mean, the guy has like only about 700 left in his stack. I, I don't see what is possible, what he is going to get to fold here as played it just i just don't buy it like 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 are you ever just slow playing like top two or a set or jack nine on the flop on this wet of a board i just i don't i mean it would be one thing to play like a something fast on the flop but i just don't if i was like under the gun or low jack or something like that and the hero check raised the the turn here all in for less than a pot size bet which is what it looks like it would i don't think i would fold anything that i had for value it would be it, I, I just don't think he has a fold equity. What did you do? So I ripped it. <laughs> <laughs> so hero, <laughs> check raise. 10, so, 10, 15 total. Raises all in. 10, 15 total. So again, two, so it's 465, 665. So 1680, 1680, about 800 for the under the gun to call. So he's getting two to one. What do you think the under the gun's going to fold here? So given that he was, you know, sort of a thinking player, I thought, and, you know, played five, 10 games, I think, you know, he might fold. 
he might put me on almost exactly jack nine, right? And fold out something that was better than my hand. I didn't think I had the winner at this point, obviously. Well, obviously you're semi-bluffing. I mean, I, we know that you're semi-bluffing for sure. It's just, I don't know. I don't, it's, it's just not all that believable to me that you would wait here for the, for, for the turn when literally like two thirds of the deck changes everything. Like if you flop Jack nine, I mean, I guess you could have like Jack nine of diamonds, like once in a great while to do this with, but especially when backdoor spades kind of come in. I mean, I guess the other, <laughs> you know, what's funny is like, maybe you would be playing like bottom two safe here and waiting to check jam. Like say you had 10, eight and you just figured like, if you check raise flop, you're just not going to really get it in really that good. All hands that get it in with you have great equity and you just wait until the turn to get it in on a brick. If that comes, that is almost more concerning to me. If I was in the under the gun guys spot with like, say Kings or aces that you might just be, waiting to go with two pair he does have the guy on the in the low jack to sort of like worry about but even if you get if you even if you get through the under the gun guy i don't know if it gets through the low jack here either so i wouldn't have played it this way it does look somewhat strong but i think it comes back to how wet the the flop is and how how much like check calling you're doing with very strong hands so what ended up happening so I faded the snap call, the under the gun guy tanks for probably three or four minutes and ultimately folds. Uh -huh. And then low jack takes maybe 20 seconds and also folds. And did you ever find out with anybody you had? No, no, one never found out what they had. But given how long he waited to fold, he probably had, he definitely had something, right? But I would assume, I mean, I don't know the under the gun... I'm trying to think of what I would do here with like aces, kings, something like that. If I if I decide if I did bet, see aces and kings don't necessarily even go multi way, but in a live game, you know maybe they do. And you check jam turn, boy. I I would kind of think at this like maybe you've got backdoor spades here or something. And if I didn't have a spade in my hand with my overpair, I might I might flick in the call, but. You can leverage the fact that the low, J, low jack is behind you, though, too. Anyways, thanks for the call. I appreciate it.